Good morning. We'll finish the book of Ezekiel this morning, looking at uh, chapters 45 through 48. Uh, tomorrow morning, Sunday, we'll uh, join for worship at 9 o'clock at Mabel in Sutton. And there's a communion Sunday tomorrow. So if you tune in from home and you'd like to have uh, communion elements ready here, welcome to join us for Holy Communion that way. Um, the, the last four chapters of Ezekiel again are dealing with uh, the rebuilding of the temple, the rebuilding of the city, the holy district, and, and uh, you know, it, it gives measurements, you know, this the length of land will be 25,000 cubits and 10,000 cubits wide, and I didn't do the math, but, you know, like, you know, a long cubit was like 21 inches, a short cubit 18 inches, but, you know, so if you have, you know, 10,000 20 inch cubits is it's you know 20,000 uh, feet rather yeah in no, 20,000 20, inches and, I mean that it's a pretty big area and, and then they're talking about you know other areas that are you know 5,000 cubits by 8,000 cubits and you know a lot of measurements again that are are making pictures in people's minds and again it's since the temple has been destroyed and so many of the people's you know vision and hope is gone with the destruction of the temple to have this very specific vision of ezekiel that he shares with them uh, again brings them hope and promise for the future and so it's um you know there's properties of the city and the prince and they talk about you know the the prince of of the people and you know and how he's supposed to do things and like starting in verse 9 of chapter 45 is the the laws concerning the princes of Israel you know they are to remove the the violence and the plunder they are to execute justice and righteousness and stop dispossessing my people they start they're supposed to start ruling fairly and to think about you know who the who the other people who the people are and and this is one of the things that, you know, people in in leadership and uh, positions, people in the ruling authorities, you know, in, the, in our Congress and stuff, I mean, their task is to try to make life better for their constituents. They, they kind of forget that a lot of times. And the princes of Jerusalem, princes of Israel were no different. And then it talks about... You know, having honest scales and an honest effa, you know, honest measurements. And, and it, you know, it talks about the, the effa is a tenth of a homer. And, and there's, there's two and, a, and another, there's, we're both like this tenth of a homer. And, and a shekel is to be exactly this, you know. And so it's, you know, specific. And it's, you know, not to use a, a crooked scale. And, you know, to, to treat everybody the same on all of that. And... And, and it talks about the, um, the offerings to, to God that way. And then uh, the reminder in verse 18 uh, to keep the feast, you know, on the first, in the first month, on the first day, you will remember the Passover. And then it talks about the, the, the another uh, festival on the, on the 14th day, or that's a seven day festival. And and it talks about you know the fest other festivals as well, and it's reminding the people of Israel of of what God has instructed them to do. This Passover festival that was to remember the freedom from Egypt, um, you know, had been forgotten, and people weren't observing it, and and that was a part of why God was angry and upset with them. Uh, and it was again you know to to return to doing the festivals, return to following the Ten Commandments, and. And it talks about manners of worship, and it just you know, and and um, I, and I, part of this, as I read through it too, it made me think of the Book of Revelation, with uh, because you know they they build the city, and then there's you know water, a river that comes out of the city, and to start with, it's you know ankle deep, and then it's knee deep, and then it's waist deep, and then it's a river so great that you could swim in it, and then it's the river so great you couldn't swim across it. And then as this water flows into the Dead Sea, the Salt Sea, it turns the Salt Sea into fresh water so that fish abound and people are fishing and thriving um, 
from this area that was, you know, not able to produce anything. And in the book of Revelation, you know, there's a, the, the river of life proceeds from the city and along the river are all of the trees that, that bear everything. And, and to me, it's a, somewhat of a similar uh, vision that is seen that way. And, and then uh, as, this, as the book ends with, uh, uh, talks about the borders of the land of Israel, and then it talks again about the, the divisions of the land of Israel among the 12 tribes of Israel. And, you know, just a reminder that, you know, this was, this was the way that it had been when God first led the people out of slavery and captivity in Egypt to the promised land. And that, you know, this is, this is what God would still have. This is what God would have for us and for them. And... And it's just, you know, God is showing to people, as I mentioned yesterday, that the people are, are what is the most important to God. And, you know, and as I said yesterday, I'm thankful that we are people of God.